All right, yeah, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Come on, come on, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. There we go! <laughs> I love it when you call your shot. gentlemen and I am about to go catch some specks and some reds hopefully as you can see there's the marina and my football and there's the camp so we're not far from the launch at all I'll be using a cock of the walk color baby bull minnow on a 3.8 ounce jig head so all right there we go it's starting to get a little more a little more power to him. I don't know what he is yet. Yeah, I know. Respect. There we go. Good trout. I let it sink and he hit it. That's how that last one hit it. So, speckled trout. We can catch about a dead neutra rat. I'd laugh if I catch a big old trout right here. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a good one. That's a good fish there, Bobo. <laughs> All right, we're starting to get into a little bit of action now. So, it's like damn near right at the boat. But oh, there we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Right around turning. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, nice trout. Gotta love it, the ones you don't have to measure. Yep. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little red, not a keeper though. Look how pretty the blue is on the tail. Little red fish. So mid morning update. It's 924. Caught a few fish. Nice fish though, but uh it ain't doing too well. Uh fishing on the bottom, letting it sink. I've had my most of success with that with a slow, slow roll along the bottom. I don't know, maybe when this fog lifts, maybe we'll be able to get something a little better, but it's kind of stagnant right now. Just kind of searching. Went down the whole canal, fishing any kind of structure points, everything we could see on some side of the side canals. I don't know. We're gonna see. Try to get something else. Seen him turn on the damn thing. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's a big one too. Oh shit. There we go. We got pop on the way. All right. Good one that time. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Woo, -hoo -hoo, baby. Look at that, I love it. I knew I seen him running. Look at that, how pretty is that? I got him. Oh, I'm professional over here. Boom, there we go. That's a nice, good 20 inch red. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Mr. Pat, you got one? There we go, let me hurry and get back in this water. Catch me enough, catch me one. Woot woot! Yo, that's a good one. Look at that net. I know, look at that ice. Go ahead and get this net. Oh, yeah, probably not. Oh, he's good. Yeah, he's not pretty. I got him. There you go. 
Beautiful. All right, yeah, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Come on, come on, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. There we go! <laughs> I love it when you call your shot. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I seen him running, threw it in front of him, right into that line of sight. Get it, baby. Love it. I go around to the back. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's give it a workout. There we go. Ooh. You got one? Are you hung up? Right, let me get it back. 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 I mean, how can you not like this? I don't understand. Hey, Puppy, you can grab me that net. Because he's about to be down a little bit. He got a little bit on it. He got a little. Ooh, nice. He about to freak out. That's a good one. Solid, solid. Solid fish there. You try to run right into the damn anchor. There's a tip for y'all. Whenever the fish runs underneath the boat, stick your pole in the water. Try to keep the try to keep the line off the off the boat. He's running straight underneath the boat. All right, he's coming. Oh, straight to you. There you go. Good red. Redfish, little one. Little red. Nah, he was fighting. He was fighting way too hard to, to be a speck. Oh, damn, gill plate just caught me. Come on, eat it. I just seen him boil. Let me sing you the song of my people. Hear that? It's called Drag and Redfish. Drag and Redfish. Drag and Redfish. So, what we're doing out here today, fishing up on this shoreline, seeing some reds cruising, and they got a lot of little shell piles in the water. And that's all we're doing is crawling these soft plastics across these uh, shell piles. And that's how we're catching them. I'll try to turn them back this way. Keep them from around the trolling motor. Is that net? I get it. I got it, though. Another one. Another pretty red. Take a cold shower. Oh yeah, he'll make it. That's easy. That's easy. Easy, easy. Got it. There you go. Oh, look how pretty he is. Look how pretty that one is. Blue on the tail. Got all the spots. Gotta love it. All right. Well, the trout ain't doing too much today, but the redfish are surely biting. And uh, man, we caught how many? We caught already that we kept six or seven all over 20 inches beautiful redfish real copper color on them so hopefully we can get a few more Just good day love hearing that drag sing there we go got a specky Nice speck. So we probably would have came out here earlier and tried to catch some specks. But the problem is it was so foggy this morning, it was real hard to, to get out here. But uh, we just caught another speck and we had a few other bites. And as you can see, coming off this point, you got the wind that's coming this way, pushing all this stuff. And it's creating like a current line right here. 
and right on that current line is where everybody's been getting bit so that's just another little tip for y'all figure out these trout only thing is now they got a bunch of grass in the water right here so but what i did when i just caught that fish i just threw it out kept tension on the line kind of felt it as it went down it seems like they might be hitting it a little bit when it's bouncing or coming right on the bottom at least that's how i'm catching them and uh he's over there just tangled up so I'm telling you, throwing it out there and letting it fall is the ticket. I'm just feeling the line on that right there. There we go. Shake, shake, shake. Da -da 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 -da. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your gator mouth. Shake your gator mouth. We'll measure him. Nah, he ain't making it. There we go. Catching up to him. That's a keeper. Make a ski. Another little one. For, you, for those of you that don't know what this color is, it's called the Fighting Tiger from H and H. Got it on a 3/8 ounce jig head, 30 pound monofilament leader, probably about two and a half feet. So that's just the deal. There we go. Just reeling it in, he freaking just damn near yanked a pull out of my hand. Your butt is mine. Look how pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty. What's up, guys? Make sure to subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment, share it. Anywhere you want on any social media platform is great. It helps me out. Thank you. I appreciate it. But uh, we didn't do that good on the trout, but... I like catching redfish more personally because they fight harder. That's just my personal opinion. Unless I'm catching big trout. So, but uh, it was a decent day. Uh, caught some nice redfish and uh, used a Mardi Gras H and H paddle tail with a green and chartreuse tail. It looked more green than chartreuse. And uh, I see the reds cruising, or I'd see a swell, and I'd cast like four feet in the direction, and I twitch, twitch, and boom, and I call my shot, as y'all can see on the video. But it was a good day. That shoreline holds reds all year long. It was awesome and uh that was a good little time right there and uh everything was called artificial we didn't use any live bait no dead bait no nothing like that but uh you know it's just this time of year you know the redfish getting there real thick especially in certain parts of uh louisiana and uh trout are kind of spotty here and there just not really in the canal like they usually are but usually after a cold front they get pushed in there real well so that's when you get them in there after a cold cold front so it's almost christmas and i'm actually going to do another video for you guys it'll be coming out probably in a day or two and uh it's going to be my top 10 catches of the year and it's gonna be better because some of this stuff y'all ain't never seen and y'all get some of the backstory of how it happened or what happened or how the day was going so i think it'll be a pretty cool premise you know so i'm gonna check y'all on the next one later